Hey everybody, welcome back to Saginaw Farms. If you're new to the channel, my name's Jake. We live on a two and a half acre hobby farm down here in southeast Pennsylvania. And today I'm going to be doing a little review <laughs> review on a chicken feeder here. This feeder, um, uh, we got this at our local feed store. I'm sure there's many more like it, uh, but I don't know the exact brand on it. But it's a 60 pound uh, standing feeder. Um, I don't really have any bad things to say about it because it's pretty large. Open it up. It holds 60 pounds of feed, so lasts for a couple days. We feed our chickens grain and dried clippings and whatever else. Uh, but one thing I really like about this feeder is that they have to reach their heads down in the feeder part pretty far to get their feed. So when they peck at it, the feed doesn't like, all go flying out. Um, unlike the hanging feeders, so I'll show you in a second. Unlike these feeders, where when they put their beaks in here and peck it, grain just flies out. So, I would, if you have some of those hanging feeders, I would recommend getting one of these standing feeders. I'm sure they probably have them at tractor supply, but we just got them from our feed market. Um, oh, I think it's a tag right there. So, it was $70. I don't know. Focus. Focus. Um, it says it's a little giant, I think. Right there. Uh, the camera's not focusing too well. Right here. But there you go. 60 pound feeder. And it comes already assembled. So, there you go. Short video. Highly recommend one of these if you don't have one already. So, thanks for watching. And why is the camera not? Yep, so if you don't have one of them, I would highly recommend getting one. Because we've had this for a week or two now. And I really like it. So, I'll catch y'all next time, and see you later, everybody.